So this is the helmet. This is the optical sensor in the front. Okay. And the processing unit in the back. Yeah. This one is VLE. Okay. So you just need to press the button. Start. Yeah. And the uh, I I will put my finger now, but it needs it need to touch the skin, the forehead. Right. And in 10 seconds we will see the heart rate. So it's really easy, seamless. Don't need a chest strap. Oh, okay. Yeah. It places the, the chest strap that people use and yeah, yeah. You just put it on your head. It will start in a minute. And how and does it send? This is BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. Right, okay, yeah. Okay. We have another uh, edition with the Ant Plus. Okay. So you can use it with uh, any Garmin yeah, devices. Whatever, or, you have to be running yeah. yeah. Okay, I've got you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No one's done anything on that for years. I mean, no, this is the first. The this is the first one, and we're really excited about it. So, um, I'll show you it in a minute. And what's the what's the helmet called? The name of the helmet? We call the brand Smart. So you can see the roll up over there. We have three helmets: one for men, one for women, and one for a mountain bike. You can see it down over there. The mountain bikes uh, work with the, the add-on for the GoPro, yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah. it's easier to mount. Um, and the protocol is either BLE or either Ant Plus. It's a combat proven in uh, fighter pilots, so we have the same devices in fighter pilots uh, from LB system. It's a helmet called Toro. Um, just one second. When um, what's what's when is it going to be on sale? Is it? It's, it's uh, ready for sale. You can order it uh, for next year, 2014. Yeah, 2014 yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what's the price point? So it's uh, 250 uh, uh, euro or dollar. It's very smart. Yeah, so I can do yeah. some. Uh, yeah, right. And yeah, then you will see. It's like, yeah, it's just numbers. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Can I have a look at the inside? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> That's really clever. No one's, I mean, you have a heart rate strap. strap. Everyone's had heart rate straps on the chest for years and years, and no one's ever really done anything with yeah. it. How much weight does the. 50 grams. Adds 50, 50, 50 grams. Uh, it's uh, 15 hours of uh, continuously measuring uh, heart rate. The battery is 15 hours. Where does the battery go? The battery is inside here, the processing unit. Um, there, there is auto off, of course. If you don't use it, so it will automatically go in standby after okay. a while. And what sort of battery is it? Is it is lithium, it lithium ion battery, rechargeable. You have the uh, let's see, micro, USB. yeah, micro USB, you know, and uh, really seamless, really light. We really like it. So we really work really hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we work really hard for it. So where, uh, where is it actually taking the heart rate on? No, just just the, just the this, this one. Yeah, it's an optical sensor, sense beam uh, into the blood flow and just take samples of the really? color of the blood flow and. Yeah. It's it up, it, they? <laughs> it's, no, it's 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 a different solution. It's not the ECG that uh, you know from the belt. Okay, I was assuming that. It was no, it's not. Up by it's some not. Just, no. just one place. That's why this one place have to touch the skin gotcha. in front. Oh, okay. Could it, okay. Theoretically, that could. I mean, obviously, it's a helmet, so it's going to be there. But could it? Would that sensor work on any part of the body? I mean, could it work on your thumb or whatever. Yeah, it can work on any part. Um, the head is a really good place yeah. because the the blood flow is uh, accurate in the head right. because you know you, this is your uh, computer, so. Yeah. It will take uh, blood from your hand if you're running and you're a little bit, you feel a little bit uh, fuzzy in the arms a little bit when you run or doing exercise, so the blood is less accurate in the hand, more accurate around the head. So this is the perfect place. Nice. It's really clever, it's really interesting. Yeah, we are really, really enthusiastic about this project. How long did it take to develop? Was it a long time in development? Uh, the, the, um, Obviously if you're the spin off, taking... The spin -off from the military domain to the fitness domain was about a year. Right. When we started uh, contacting with uh, John, uh, Sean and uh, Peter and uh, Alvao. Uh, 
but the R&D for the military domain, it took a while, uh, yeah, yeah. two years. Right. And has it been in the military domain for a long time, or is it's, that quite it's recent just as well? Quite recent, uh, we got to the final uh, R&D stage, and now it's working. So, in the military domain, they have heart rate, and they have blood flow, and blood situa uh, situation for, uh, you know, when fighter pilots have G-lock, Right. or fighting through flight, so it's more of a safety gear. They have on the head-up display the, paramet the parameters, yes. and it's you know red and blinking if it, they are pushing too it's hard. Yeah. Right. And uh, in fitness, heart rate is the tool. In the future, you know, we can bring more parameters if users need it, and we see that uh, you know a blood flow is something that. Uh, fitness needs so we can do it. Um, nice. Yeah. And, you, and you say it's Bluetooth and AMP Plus, so both will yes. be available at the same time? Yes, both will be available, but when you buy the helmet you need to choose. Yeah, obviously you need to know yeah. which one. Yeah. If you have an iPhone you can put a dongle in it, it's a small part that you can put inside and it yeah. will work uh, AMP Plus and then you can see it on iPhone, yeah. but it's an AMP Plus so you can enjoy both World Garmin and mobile. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so. It sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. Be really interesting to use that. Excellent.